It's Wednesday, y'all. What does that mean? Whoppers. I cannot even deny them right now. I need them so badly. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Lit plate. Yeah, yeah, papa. Yeah, yeah, papa. <laughs> As you all can see, I'm looking a little puffy. <laughs> got my winter workman's gear on. It's true, we got our first snowfall. Check it out for yourselves. And when I say first snowfall, I mean the first snowfall that's probably gonna like actually stick for a bit, if not forever, because this next week is looking like, you know, zero and below. There you have it, folks. We got the white stuff, the white stuff. The white stuff in the middle of an Oreo. <laughs> Remember that Weird Al Yankovic song? There was New Kids on the Block, The Right Stuff. And then Weird Al did a parody called The White Stuff in the Middle of an Oreo. Yep, I'm that many years young. I'm the youngest man on earth. But anyways, worker man's gear if you can see in the back you might see when i eat i got some uh garbage to go for a dump run and i uh, had to do a bunch of shoveling today and now it is 3 30 in the afternoon and i am absolutely marvin for some whoppers it is wednesday of course so we need to get the discount on them and in all honesty i looked at the last time i had a whopper and that was almost a full month ago now, like three and a half weeks, which feels like it was last week, honestly. So time is seemingly flying since that video, but in 2020, time feels like it's forever. Like I feel like 2020 has literally been two years already, and we're not even out of the year yet. So I think it's gonna get even crazier in 2020, 2021, 2020, 2021. I think a tidal wave of probably even more insanity is on the way, but who knows? We'll see when we get there. Damn y'all, the D through is popping. Very, very popping. Very poppins. Hmm. It almost debates whether I should run inside or not. Don't mind my work father coat. Makes me look very Michelin man. I know I've been eating, uh, you know, a lot of good things on this channel, but I, I, I swear it's the jacket. It's the jacket. <laughs> the sleeves are so unnecessarily thick but very warm and comfy was needed this morning in the minus 10 you know and that's just the start that's just the kickoff <laughs> you know it's gonna get much much worse so i might be a little overdressed right now for the current time i feel like it's like one or two degrees according to uh the old weather on the truck here it's it's like one degree so we're a little hot running a little hot should have went inside Seems like these people uh, at the box here are having a hard time deciding what they want. And there's still like six cars from them to me. Should have went inside. Mistakes in life, we make them. Okay. I'm feeling frisky. I might mess around and try something new today. I think I'm gonna get a Whopper meal with the onion rings to put on the sandwich. And I'm gonna go ahead and go crazy and try the Big King or whatever. It's supposed to be like a Big Mac. I've never had it. I just, like I said, I don't really like Burger King cheese, but I'm feeling frisky and I feel like I need to do something out of my comfort zone. So I'll get the, the Whopper that I'm gonna love. And let me see what this what this Burger King Big Mac is gonna taste like here. I wanna see what their special sauce is gonna taste like here. So I'm, I'm interested, let, 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 let's try something new here. Let's do it. All right, can I get the uh, Whopper combo? Uh, just the water. Bottle of water? Yeah. Okay, anything else? Yeah, I could on the burger. Can I get a uh, heavy all? Okay, what do you like here? Bacon and cheese? No, thank you. But could I also get onion rings instead of fries? Okay. Um, a large size, sorry. Large onion rings? Yes, please. Okay. And then also I'm going to get the, uh, the, what's the one that's like a Big Mac? Still have that? Oh, um, the, you know what, I'll just get a, a second Whopper, just the burger. Yeah, just with heavy all again. Okay. Thank you. 
Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Hmm. I wonder if it wasn't a good seller. I wonder if it just like, got to the point where people were like, nah, they weren't really fucking with it. I don't know. That's very interesting. I thought for sure it was like a, a guaranteed menu item. Thank you very much. Tack check. Let's get it parked and get to the bag though. The bag checks out. I gotta get this jacket off for real though. I cannot eat in this right now. Get down to my skivvies. Shades off. Eye check. Red. Tired. <laughs> All right. So as fate would have it, it's gonna be two whoppers. You guys already heard. I already had a whole segment on it there that. Uh, they don't have the one I was looking for, the Big Mac one, the Big King. But we got a little assembling to do. So I definitely know for a fact there's been one subscriber waiting for this for, for a while because ever since my last Whopper video, the same person's been hitting me up being like, yo, when's the next Whopper video? When's the next Whopper video? For like the whole time, like in a bunch of videos. So shout out to you if you're watching this one, this one's for you. <laughs> Of course, however, it's mainly for me because I love it so much. Mm -hmm. On point. Mm -hmm. So because I was getting two burgers today. I had to, had to forego the poutine. I just couldn't hack pull all of that. And I'm getting onion rings with it in the burger. So it's just like, it's all, it's too much with the poutine. <clears throat> if I just get the single bur <clears throat> burger, then a poutine is called for, but. I just wasn't in the poutine <clears throat> vibe today. Right there, perfect bites. Coming right up. Mm. Caught into the pickle there. That activated a flavor explosion. Hmm. What a day it's been so far already. Holy crap. Woke up bright and early to like half a foot, um, like you know, three quarters of a foot of snow. And on my agenda today was a dump run. My sister had a bunch of shit that had to go. I had a bunch of shit that had to go. My mom had some shit that had to go. But. Box of my truck, driveway, everything just. The yard to the shed where all the stuff was just full of snow. So did some snow removal. For like at least an hour, hour and a half, I had to shovel out my box. <laughs> I love shoveling out <laughs> box. <laughs> oh no, too much. And then, uh, If you'll notice, behind me, my seat covers came in from Amazon, Amazon, and I had to figure out how to get those on. That was a mission. 
got those situated. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> had to go pick up my sister and her ship, my mom's ship, drive out to the dump, Only to find out that it's closed today. <laughs> so that was a bummer. Got denied by the dump. I'll go back tomorrow so that screwed the plan of going and picking out the snowblower for my sister to bring to her house I'm also gonna try their ranch on their onion rings for the first time ever Heinz Ranch it's not bad Pretty thick, pretty creamy. And then came home, installed a mirror, installed a couple cupboard doors, <laughs> and then started sanding my old snowboard to repaint it because it's so embarrassing. It's back when I used to be a wigger, dressed like a thug. And my uh, snowboard represented that heavily with all kinds of graffiti and shit. The one that I bought. And that's just not me anymore. So I'm painting it flat green like these seeds. Primed it in the meantime while that's happening. I'm here eating this, hanging out with you. And on that note, <clears throat> I'd like to take this moment to give a shout out to all those people in the world who are hustling on a full time grind, who like have kids and keep up with the house and it never stops. The laundry list of life never stops. And I'm only pretty much one dude. You know, I help out my family members when they need help and shit, but. There's always something else to, to get to on the list. I feel as if I'm always hoping there's like just one week of my life where I've ticked and checked all the boxes and everything is just settled for just like a week where everything's handled you know you're fully stocked on everything You don't have to acquire anything else, top anything up, take anything out to the curb. Like, just one week of, like, life feeling settled. But life never feels settled. There's always something to maintain or some call you have to make or some appointment you have to book or some appointment you have to go to or just so many things but 
I guess that's what keeps it interesting, right? I guess that's what keeps us going. Man, this is good. This one's super saucy. <laughs> probably why I like it so much. And another thing, on top of all of that, lately <laughs> I've been finding myself getting like sick and tired of like just maintaining like my beard trim and like all that, just so that little personal shit you gotta do. And having two sisters and a mom, I just gotta say another big shout out to the women, man. Y'all have so much general upkeep, day-to-day -day maintenance, things you gotta do. To present yourself well to the world how you want to look and then of course all there's like the female things that <clears throat> you have to uh consistently attend to I, I don't know how you, how they do it i'd be exhausted I couldn't imagine putting on makeup, <clears throat> you know, almost every day, probably for most girls, women, ladies. That shit's gotta be so tiring. And then you multiply that by a lifetime. <laughs> Think of how many times you've put on and taken off your face. I understand when girls are like sweatpants and fuck it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hair tied up, sweatpants, and fuck it. <laughs> if I had to do what y'all had to do, that would be my energy many times a week. Real, real story. Mm. Two whoppers. What a dream. Go down smooth. I am definitely like full. Like I'm a I'm like perfectly full. I'm definitely feeling that one. But not to the point where it hurts. So that's good. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Just some general life relatability in that one, I think I would say. You know what I mean? General maintenance, life general maintenance, Q-tips and mouthwash, things you gotta do to not be gross, essentially. Which comes at a an annoying cost of having to do it lots. <laughs> so, till the next one, you know what to do, eat good, live well. I stay true.